Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Simona Cocchi, The Italian Way. I'm delighted uh, today to introduce you to this cultural bridge between Italy and Cyprus. Uh, uh, the Parco Archaeologico del Colosseo in Rome is hosting an international exhibition of immense uh, cultural significance. Uh, Untitled uh, Cypria, the Aphrodite's network. Uh, um, this show will run until the 26th uh, of uh, November 2024 in the Museum of the Roman Forum. Uh, so the landscape uh, is absolutely outstanding. I reproduced the, with the AI this beautiful. Uh, uh, Aphrodite uh, located uh, in this um, uh, evocative uh, uh, place. Uh, I like to play with the modern tools, uh, but uh, my, uh, my roots are absolutely uh, inside the uh, ancient uh, philosophy, and I've always been studying the ancient Greek. So to me, this video is really important because uh, we are going to investigate one of uh, the philosophical uh, concepts uh, that uh, is one of uh, mm, the most interesting also because nowadays we are talking about beauty powers, but uh, we don't know exactly what is uh, kalogatia. Kalokagatia is not merely an abstract philosophical concept, but a living ideal that connects ancient mythological narratives with contemporary artistic expressions. So the exhibition uses uh, the myth of Aphrodite, uh, a goddess uh, whose essence uh, combines love beauty and uh, generative power to explore how ancient idols continue to resonate with modern uh, sensibilities. Uh, so the artworks uh, seek to express the idea that true beauty is always connected to deeper values such as love, continuity, and the profound uh, connection between cultures. That's absolutely pivotal. In this sense, uh, the exhibition challenges the viewers to see behind the physical appearance uh, of the artworks and recognize the ethical dimensions uh, they embody. By celebrating Aphrodite's myth, uh, through a modern lens, uh, the exhibition invites us to consider how beauty and ethics uh, remain uh, intertwined, shaping our perceptions and uh, guiding our understanding of what it means uh, to live a good life. Uh, um, so the concept of kalokagatia is a bridge across time, one that links the idol of ancient Greece to the reflections of contemporary art, reaffirming the idea that beauty in its highest form is inseparable from godness. Wow, yeah, I want this philosophical introduction because the people and the audience uh, needs to understand that uh, our culture just uh, and our uh, uh, our creatives uh, and values are absolutely inspired by the ancient Greece. So I'm, I prepare for you a few slideshows like this one. Uh, uh, in which I'm going to collect uh, and I gather together all the information you have uh, to uh, have uh, in order to understand more about uh, the importance of this exhibition. Uh, so the overview, you know. Uh, the, the curatorial team, uh, uh, Giorgio Calcara, that is uh, an eminent uh, scholar and uh, in uh, uh, Art critics and historical artistic director Stefania 
Uh, sorry, I have to, mm, to repeat uh, with Stefania Pennacchio and Fulvia Toscana, uh, to Toscano, guiding artistic and scientific direction. Then we have uh, the key curatorial team and direction, Giorgio Carcara, uh, Stefania Pennacchio, Fulvia Toscano. We have participating artists, Italian artists, Stefania Pecnacchio, Nicola Verlato, Rosa Mundi Gabriels, uh, Cypriot uh, artist uh, Vasilis Vasiliades, uh, Panicos Tembriotis, uh, Eleni Kindini, Lefteris Tapas. Uh, themes and inspiration focus on Kalogakagatia, merging ancient and modern art. Uh, the concept and the themes. Uh, um, the Aphrodite's uh, legacy, exploring her role as a symbol of love and beauty, past and present, merging ancient myths with modern art, cultural significance and impact, uh, strengthening ties, celebrating the cultural connection between Italy and Cyprus, promoting Mediterranean culture, highlighting myth, and tradition. I'm absolutely obsessed uh, with the ancient uh, mythological figures. Educational exchange, connecting artists, scholars, and cultural institutions, uh, and then even highlights and timeline you know until the 26th of November 2024. Uh, so the itinerary of uh, the exhibits, uh, because they are, it's a tour uh, spanning Europe, Naxos Taormina. Naxos is one of the most ancient uh, Greek outposts here in Italy, Paphos and Nicosia. Then we have uh, a really prominent institutional support and partnerships. Uh, uh, the Ministry of Culture, Embassy of Cyprus in Rome, Region of Sicily, uh, International Partners, Ministry of Culture of Cyprus, uh, La Rotta dei Fenici, UNESCO Clubs, uh, focus on Mediterranean culture revive and culture heritage and themes of Aphrodites uh, that has been also uh, then it was exported to 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 the Romans and uh, she was called Venere and yeah Venus uh, and focus um, contemporary relevance why modern interpretation on this ideal that is absolutely still present, the ideal of beauty, of uh, women power, of uh, uh, goodness. And uh, I s there is uh, also the concept uh, that has to be developed, uh, uh, the aesthetic dialogue uh, bridging history and modern art that to me has been to be reconnected. Um, then you have also the uh, absolutely interesting, uh, like uh, the uh, art exhibition, uh, the, the, the context and the information leaks where you can have more uh, scholars, documentations, uh, such as, uh, I mean, uh, historical uh, uh, pieces of, uh, uh, of uh, documents, and then you have, uh, uh, you can download uh, the press kit uh, and you can uh, overview also the site of Parco Archeologico del Colosseo. And yeah, definitely. So you have uh, uh, lots, plenty of uh, uh, things to discover or to, you know, enrich your cultural uh, luggage. And uh, I will leave you with the a slideshow of few of the works uh, displayed inside the Aphrodite's uh, network. Keep on staying tuned, Simona Cocchi, The Italian Way. <laughs> Thank you. 